Hey guys, we got a great tutorial for you today. Uh, we're going to show you how to set up a, the entrance logo, the pre-service music, and the pre-roll video all to be automated and cue at a specific time on your Sunday morning, your Wednesday night, or whatever your service day. Alright, let's jump right in and I'll show you how it's done. Okay, so starting off, I'm going to show you guys how to make a fade cue. So let's bring this in here, and then let's uh, drag the fade cue over what we want to fade, okay? And we're fading up this logo right here. And we need to go into our fade queue, go to geometry, hit opacity, and make sure that's checked, and make sure it says 100%. And then over here, on the logo that we're wanting to fade up, go to display and geometry, and make sure the opacity is at 0%. Um, that way we're fading it from 0% with this queue to 100%. Um, so we should have something that looks a little bit like this. Cool. So now what we want to do is, as soon as we cue this cue, we want to um, also cue the pre-service music. So how we do that is, we just make sure that this entrance and logos uh, thing is above, the group is above this pre-service group. And we're going to go to mode. Oh, sorry. We're going to go to uh, basics. We're going to go to auto follow. So what that's going to do is, as soon as I cue this, it'll cue the pre-service music. Okay. The next thing that we want to do is loop this pre-service playlist. So what I did, is I just drag and dropped all the music that I wanted. Um, for our service, so our pre-service, and then what we'll do is we'll go up to this little play button that says start, and then drag it into our group at the very bottom of the list, and then we're going to target this first song. So let's go to our play button here. We're going to go to target down at basics right here, and then we're going to target 17.2, or whatever number it says for you, and um, that is the target for this first song. So as soon as this song ends, it'll go right here. And for all these songs, we need to make sure under basics to have these set to auto flow. So after it finishes this song, it'll go to the next song and the next song onto the start queue, back to this queue and loop over and over and over. And on this group, make sure on under mode, it says start first child and enter in the group. That way it starts this first one and then it'll move on to this song, then move on to this one to move on to this one. Okay, so we're going to test this out. So let's go to Army of One. Let's go to Time and Loops, and we're just going to shorten the songs for um, practice sake. And let's just do like the last two seconds of the song, and we're just going to make sure it's looping. So let's go to Audition. There you have it. So it's looping this playlist, and every time it goes to army of one it's going to loop over and over and over until we give it something to stop it okay now let's get to the fun stuff we're gonna bring out a fade cue here and we're gonna drag it just above the entrance logos and lights okay and then we're gonna target this folder right here to where it lights up highlighted blue and then hit retarget all cues okay and then we're just gonna come here I think it's screwed up, and we're going to go to target with our um, fade queue selected. We're going to go to target and then select this number right here. Okay, so now it's going to be fading this folder. And what we want to do is go to our fade queue, go to geometry, go to opacity, and then we're going to fade it to zero. And then we're going to stop target when done. That way, once it fades out the graphic, it'll stop everything that's inside of this folder. Okay, so let's bring up our logo real quick and we'll test it. Awesome. Okay, so we haven't set it up to where it'll stop the pre-service music as well, but we'll get to that. So we got that set up and that's looking nice. Okay, now we're going to move on to the music. So we're going to bring out another fade cue, and we're just going to drop it right below the pre-service music group. And um, how you label these as different numbers 
um, just in case there isn't any numbers like some of these, you can assign a number just by selecting group or um, any item and uh, put whatever you want, 55. Okay, now it's set to 55. And then what we're going to do is get our fade cue that we just drug out. We're going to target 55. Okay, so it's, it's set up to target this group now. And now the next thing that we're going to do is going to go over to levels. We're going to grab the master fader and drag it all the way down. And then click stop target when done. Now it'll fade out this pre-service music. Once I click it. So that's working now. And then uh, now we're going to set up the uh, wall clock timer. And this is pretty cool stuff. I really like it a lot. Um, I'll show you how you do that right now. So you're going to grab this uh, fade cue, go to basics, and then let's say, uh, let's just set it up. So today is, you can sp uh, set specific days, which is kind of cool. I'll just leave it for every day right now. Uh, let's go click wall clock trigger, then set um, PM, and then let's do 2.27, and then uh, make sure that's at the PM, and then we're going to go over to our other fade queue, do the same exact thing we just did there, I forgot what time I said, it was 2.27. 227 and then set this to p.m. okay and then we're gonna go to our pre-roll video that has all our stuff in it and then do the same exact thing cool and let's set this to every day you know you can set these to different colors so you'll know which ones are which so just grab all your fade cues the things that have timers on them is what I labeled red in our pre-roll video. So now we know those things are uh, have timers on them. And so let's start our entrance logo and lights and see how things work. <laughs> There you have it. I just stopped the cue by hitting uh, escape, but um, it automatically did it for you at right at 227. You saw when it switched, went right to it. Um, that's pretty much it. If you guys have any questions, leave a comment below. 